me. Homo sapiens. Approximately 3 billion years ago, cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae, emerged on Earth. Cyanobacteria are prokaryotic organisms, meaning they lack a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. They often form filaments, enhancing their ability to create large structures like stromatolites. Initially, cyanobacteria thrived in various aquatic environments, such as freshwater lakes and shallow marine areas. These microorganisms were among the first known life forms capable of photosynthesis. This process fundamentally altered the planet's atmosphere and paved the way for more complex life forms. Photosynthesis involves converting water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen using sunlight. This process releases oxygen as a byproduct into the atmosphere. Over time, this gradually increased the oxygen levels in the early Earth's atmosphere. The oxygen produced by cyanobacteria began to accumulate in the atmosphere approximately 2.4 billion years ago, an event scientists call the Great Oxygenation Event. This dramatic increase in oxygen in Earth's atmosphere led to the evolution of organisms that relied on oxygen and initiated the development of more complex life forms. The presence of oxygen eventually led to the development of the ozone layer, which subsequently protected developing life from harmful ultraviolet radiation. This event further cooled the Earth's atmosphere. This is because oxygen reacted with methane present in the atmosphere, forming carbon dioxide and water. This increased the presence of carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere and decreased the amount of methane. Cyanobacteria also contributed to the nutrient cycle in aquatic ecosystems, providing food for various microbial communities. The reason why many types of bacteria live together in a group is that the byproduct or waste of one bacterium serves as food or fulfills other needs for another bacterium. Therefore, bacteria are highly social organisms on Earth. They even exchange genetic material with each other. This process is called horizontal gene transfer. This process increases genetic diversity in bacteria and enables them to adapt to various environmental challenges. The origin of cyanobacteria about 3 billion years ago is a significant event in the history of life on Earth. By utilizing photosynthesis, they transformed the planet's atmosphere and developed ecosystems for the further evolution of complex life. The study of cyanobacteria is still crucial for our understanding of early life on Earth. The origin of eukaryotic cells and the development of mitochondria. The origin of eukaryotic cells from prokaryotic ancestors is one of the most important events in the history of life. Approximately 2 billion years ago, small colonies of bacteria found themselves dependent on certain cells around them that provided essential nutrients for life. Cyanobacteria specialized in capturing sunlight and became chloroplasts, which are still found in plant cells today. Another type of bacteria focused on releasing energy from food and became small, pink power packs called mitochondria found in almost all cells with a nucleus, whether they are plant or animal cells. The Endosymbiotic Theory of Mitochondrial Evolution The endosymbiotic theory posits that mitochondria originated from prokaryotes, specifically a type of alpha proteobacteria. Essentially, mitochondria were once a free-living prokaryotic organism that was engulfed by another ancient eukaryotic cell, capable of using oxygen to generate energy, approximately 1.5 to 2 billion years ago. Instead of being digested, it formed a symbiotic relationship. The host cell provided protection and nutrients while the engulfed bacterium provided extra energy in the form of ATP through oxidative phosphorylation. Mitochondria are now essential organelles in eukaryotic cells, 
primarily responsible for energy production for the cell. This endosymbiotic event is considered one of the most significant events in the evolution of complex life, allowing eukaryotic cells to utilize significantly more energy than their prokaryotic counterparts, thus paving the way for the development of multicellular organisms. Approximately 1.2 billion years ago, eukaryotes began to diversify. Early unicellular relatives of algae and fungi, and unicellular protists, or what we call protozoa, appeared on Earth for the first time. For the first time, they ventured away from the sea and made their presence felt in freshwater ponds and rivers. Layers of algae, fungi, and lichens began to adorn coastlines where life had never existed before. Some also evolved into multicellular life forms, such as the 1.2 billion year old marine algae Bangiomorpha and the approximately 900 million year old fungus Arasphera.